You know what? I'm not even going to start an intro. I've, I've, yes, I've obviously had enough. Anywho, in April 2017, I uploaded some Casio tracks. There was Stay, Burn Tonight, All Right, Fall in Love, and Soldier Boy. I think that's all that I uploaded. Five of the Casio tracks. And now, recently, Rolling Stone has released an article saying that there are Michael Jackson tracks that are being unreleased. Unreleased, yes, that's right, unreleased. And there are 12 of them, I believe. It, um, the unreleased album is on a little CD drive, about 500 megabytes, and it's called Bible. Now, what did these album contain? Hmm, good question. Hmm, let's look at the set list. Hmm, do they look familiar? Also, do they look also familiar, which was on my channel? Hmm. Let, let, let's think. Michael, do you think these tracks look familiar? As you can see, there is no comment. Because he never recorded it. <sighs> also, why release fake tracks? Why? Why would you do that to him? Look, I released these tracks back in April just to inform MJ traders and fans that these are the Casio tracks that we've been looking for since 2007. I personally collected all of the Casio tracks. And as of yesterday, all my Casio tracks got deleted. Hmm, what a strange coincidence, don't you think? That the auction surfaced with the Casio tracks... And then my del my videos got deleted because it contained the Casio tracks. And not even because the copyright strike also, it also contained that it was claimed by a company called JBM LLC. And I thought, hmm, why not do some, why not do some um, research about these? So I did a quick Google search and nothing came up. JBM or maybe JM's. J JBM or JMB, I'm not sure, it doesn't really matter. But it was actually an unknown company. People didn't, like, there was no actual home, um, home site for the actual company. So maybe I thought, cheeky. I thought, I um, messaged the MJ cast saying that um, the Casio track debacle, the reason why... The reason why it got taken down is because they're not actually Michael Jackson songs, which is already been stated in fact that it's actually Jason Mal um, Malachi or Malachi, depends how you call it, um, depends how you pronounce it. But it's actually not Michael. And the Cascios or someone else, maybe an external third party, they want to get rid of it because they don't want to, you know, ruin the auction because, you know, it's unreleased Michael Jackson content. Please, just don't, just don't, please don't release anything Casio track related, please. Just tell the truth, please, about the Casio tracks. It's not Michael. Even though there are some parts which are actually genuinely Michael, such as the original Keep Your Head Up demo, which included Earth Song, the What About Us, in the last chorus. Yeah, that's obviously Michael. And they also used some... They also sampled some beats or... It, yeah, they also sampled some beats and some sound effects from Michael, such as the ad-libs. <sighs> I think I'm done for the day in terms of Casio tracks. I think I've said what I've, you know, been thinking of for three years now because I've been collecting Crasco tracks for that time. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. So, Michael, 
What are your thoughts on the Casio tracks? Nothing? I mean, to be honest, I would say nothing as well, but it caused so much damage to the MJ fans, so there's got to be something to be said.